Hello everyone, welcome to the video series on MCQ answer explanation. In this video, I will explain microbiology related questions. Let us see the questions. The first question is exotoxin is options are polypeptide, highly toxic, secreted by bacteria, all of the above. Now let us understand this. Say exotoxins are chemicals which are secreted by bacteria and they cause high fever and certain symptoms. Chemically, they are polypeptides and they are highly toxic. They are secreted by bacteria. So all of the above is the answer, option D. Now, when you compare exotoxin with endotoxin, endotoxins are also chemicals. They are released by bacteria when bacteria dies. After the death of bacteria, the chemicals from the bacterial organism is released. They are called as exotoxins. They are not highly toxic. Chemically, they are lipopolysaccharides. So this is what is the difference between endotoxin and exotoxin. Chemically, exotoxin, polypeptide. Endotoxin, lipopolysaccharide. Uh, exotoxins, they are highly toxic. Endotoxins, they are not highly toxic. Exotoxins, they are secreted by bacteria. Endotoxins, release it by bacteria after its death. Okay, let us move on to the next question. Now, iodine used in staining as. See, in gram staining, iodine is used. Now, the question is about what is the use of iodine is. Look at the options. Primary stain, mordant, decolorizer, secondary stain. Now, let us understand the process of gram staining. What happens is bacteria is taken and a primary stain is given to the bacteria. Primary stain, crystal violet is used. Now, after that, iodine is used as a mordant. Mordant means whatever the color is used, it gets fixed to the bacteria because of iodine. Now, after that, a decolorizer, alcohol and estone is used. Now, certain bacteria by using decolorizer, the color is lost, crystal violet color is lost. Some bacteria retain their color. Bacteria which retain their color is known as gram positive. Bacteria which lost their color are known as gram negative. Now secondary stain is a saffronine kind of color. Bacteria which has lost the primary stain will get this secondary stain and they appear pink in color. Whereas the gram positive one appear the primary stain color as violet in color. So this is what is basically about staining. So overall we need to understand the primary stain is crystal violet. Mordant is iodine. Decolorizer is alcohol and acetone. Secondary stone is uh, saffron and kind of things. Okay, let us move on to the next question. See, exponential growth of bacteria is seen in phase. Options given are long phase, lag phase, stationary phase, death phase. Now understand this. Whenever a bacteria causes infection or whenever a bacteria is grown in a nutrient broth, initially growth will not be there. That is called as lag phase because bacteria need to utilize the nutrients. It takes some time. Once it starts utilizing the nutrient, it multiplies rapidly. Exponential growth is there. It continues to multiply. That is what is called as log phase. After that, it goes to a plateau phase, which is known as stationary phase. After that, when nutrient amount is reduced, bacteria starts dying. That is called as death phase. So four phases are the log phase, not much multiplication. I'm sorry, lag phase, no multiplication. Long phase exponential growth, stationary phase, no multiplication for that, death phase, it will die. So the question is about exponential growth is seen in log phase. Now, moving to the next question. Nosocomial infection is caused by, examples given are Pseudomonas aeruginosa, Klebsiella pneumoniae, Enterobacter, all of the above. Now, understand this one. Nosocomial infections are the infections caused by hospital visits. They are called as hospital bond infections or hospital acquired infections. We have basically two types of infections are there. Hospital acquired, community acquired. Community acquired means when you get into the communities or with people, if you get infection from the people, it is called as community acquired. If you get infection when you visit a hospital, it is called as hospital acquired or nosocomial infection. The most prominent organisms are Pseudomonas aeruginosa. See, the Pseudomonas aeruginosa is responsible for blindness in many uh, hospitals. After the eye surgery is done, care should be taken. Otherwise, if Pseudomonas aeruginosa infects, blindness will result. Klebsiella pneumonia is responsible for pneumonia in most of the hospitals. Enterobacter, some of the intestinal problems will be there. So all of them are, all the organisms will cause nosocomial infections. Now let us look at the last question. Proteinaceous infectious particles are known as, uh, uh, options given are prions, virus, fungi and bacteria. Now understand this one. Proteinaceous infectious particles are known as prions. See, we usually think that infection is caused by organisms. Not necessarily. There are certain proteins which gets into the body and cause infections. Uh, usually it is because of uh, some contaminated meat. Uh, if people eat that meat, they may get this prions which may cause encephalopathy kind of diseases. Krejfeldt-Jakob disease is example. 
the prions will cause a particular infection in humans known as cjd crutchfield jacob disease in in uh, cows and all those things they cause mad cow disease bovine encephalopathy it is called as so these infections are caused by only proteins they are not organisms just a protein gets into the organisms gets into brain causes encephalopathy they are called as prions so this is about uh, mcqs of microbiology all the best